It was probably in 2000, I think. I'm, I'm not real sure. I don't remember. That's My memory has gone bad. But I think it must have been around in 2000. I had a headache in Las Vegas for 18 hours. And, uh, and I was in bed most of the time. And then when I came home, I went to urgent care. He gave me a Tylenol with codeine. And I said, that's not going to work. That's like giving me a baby aspirin. And uh, so then he says, well, you're my last patient. Just try it and see. And I said, no, I'm on Zomig. I don't take a baby aspirin for my headaches. And so I said, okay, well, give me the prescription. He gave me the prescription. I ripped it up, threw it in the trash, and I says, you'll hear from my insurance company or whoever. I, I don't remember them saying a blood clot on my brain or, I mean, a tumor because they were worried it was a tumor. But I just figured I was going to be taken care of. It didn't, like, none of that bothered me, not like the rest of the family. Everyone was, like, scared, but I just knew I had to do something. So I just went around. Whatever the doctor told me to do, I did. They said that they were going to do um, EKG, did a CAT scan, and that's when they found it. I, it was life threatening because I had, I had this um, headaches all this time for years. I... They just kept getting worse and worse, and this one was a last, you know, for 18 hours, and that was a last. And they knew, and but I was coherent and everything, but um, I was just in a lot of pain. And I had surgery the very next day. It was emergency. Whenever I get a headache, I get scared, and, and I just don't want to go anywhere with a headache. I, headaches scare me. Anybody who has headaches, I get scared because of what happened to me.